There's a scene in Matrix 2 where Neo was confronted with people who still had loved ones within the Matrix and they wanted Neo to help free them. I experienced something similar in the spirit world with our ancestors who were conveying emotions of wanting their future generations, which are alive now, to be freed from the mental slavery shackles still intact from their colonizers generations later. It was a very emotional moment and I can hear their voices and feel their emotions. It brought me to tears and I did a post years before TikTok to document the event. Nowadays, these mental chains go past color and affect a lot of people as it's still a useful tool for control. If you look at a brief timeline, and this is posted on August 11th, 2024, you can see some pivotal moments where this mental programming was installed, and it's very powerful programming. You can do this research yourself, but Juneteenth is when many celebrate the end of slavery, even though it was enacted earlier, and that was 161 years ago, or eight generations. Imagine the DNA of our ancestors still wanting us to experience freedom on a spiritual level. They are still watching and still want us to evolve. America saw independence on July 4th, 1776, but still owned slaves. And shortly after the colonists arrived in 1606, the first slaves arrived in 1619. That's 405 years ago, 20 generations of memories that could be within you that are still held back by limiting beliefs. The King James Version of the Bible was published in 1611, and it was used to brainwash us into believing in external saviors, which we were taught looked like our masters. Even talking to people now how they don't question the spiritual teachings of people that were enslaving you falls on deaf ears. How can someone who was enslaving you physically tell you about spiritual salvation? We seldom look at the time before the indoctrination and connect the teachings of our ancestors that had their own spirituality, which was way better. As they continue to revise history and limit what is taught, those teachings may be lost and the ability to awaken will not even be a thought, as there is no need to gain higher consciousness if you have a savior. Many will still wait instead of saving themselves from the dogma. Few of us question where the idea of a savior came from and look at the track record of the people who forced us into that belief system. Remember, we didn't come here with those books.